Actually, the T12 400 meters there before we uh, go back and have a look at the uh, uh, shot put once again. This is the Italian competitor coming up here. Libabera of uh, Italy. An average long jump competition for Libabera. He's right down the field. That's not bad from Libabera. Or Bonicini, rather. Eight zero nine for Bonagini of Italy. Leaves him right down at the bottom end of the field, though. He really needs to find some form from somewhere in some of these events if he's thinking of challenging for anything other than mediocrity. Now, this was the uh, the Croatian medal won in the five thousand meters. And this, I think, this was the best uh, athletic performance on track that we've seen for the past couple of days. He absolutely tore into this field. It was like a man possessed what he set off with uh, about a lap and a half to go. It was a magnificent performance and uh, one duly deserving of the gold medal that it got for him. Beretan Lozanov and uh, Lithuanian there. On the, uh, yes, 13.39, 13, Thomas Garis. <laughs> Paul Dickinson will be back in the uh, commentary booth uh, on Monday and Tuesday with myself, Tim Hutchings, uh, Tim Cable. We've had some uh, lively discussions over these last couple of days, but uh, uh, I'm interested why you think that a picture of Dave Beckham is more important than a good writer on a great athletics meeting. Well, because it's basically down to what people want at any given time. It's what sells newspapers, what's... Uh, I mean, you've worked for the kit manufacturers yourself as well. I'm not um, talking so about the red tops, I'm talking about the broadsheets. People want to look at pictures, the people that read the broadsheets need people, to see lots of pictures, do they? I don't think there are really lots of pictures, to be perfectly honest, are there? That's well, on the contrary, the, they in, do. In the shop. Um, for Canada in a new games record, 39.51 from Schmidt of Switzerland and Yoda of Japan. Back to this uh, shot put for the pentathletes though. And uh, this is Jeremy Campbell of the USA. First round effort. Big lad and pretty quick across the circle there. That one for uh, Campbell. Around uh, 11 metres there or thereabouts. Had a poor time in the long jump, has to be said though, the first event. Campbell. 6 meters 10. Here is Draulek. Now, what can he do here? Anything around 10 meters, 10 meters plus would rack up good points for the Frenchman. He's not big. This won't be one of his strong disciplines. That looks solid enough though. Get a mark on the board. Rack up most of the points that you need. That's the critical factor in the first round. Don't put yourself under undue pressure on your second and third throws by fouling out in the first round was Jenny Velasco of Mexico. Back to this uh, men's shot, the heptathletes, or the pentathletes, I should say, Jeff Skiba. He, of course, uh, Skiba in fourth place after the long jump. 581 in the second round, his best effort. Skiba, they're looking a little laboured with that effort. He's very, very slightly built. Skiba, you get some uh, multi-eventers who are really better built for the vault and the, the 1500 or the 800 as it is indoors in the heptathlon, for example. One three five eight, Donald Elgin then in this shot put competition. Now Elgin really has got some slack to make up. He was only eighth out of the nine starters in the long jump, the first discipline. Five meters twelve in the third round of the long jump, racking up seven hundred and fifty-four points. But he needs to really make amends here. And that's big. Elgin in the first round has gone out to around twelve meters. That's very shot for the moment, the second discipline of five in this one day for the pentathletes. One, three, two, six. That is Casey Tibbs. Tibbs, of course, the leader after the first discipline, the long jump.